Hello everyone, we're back with another video of Final Fantasy X and today we're going to be battling Dark Yojimbo. I'm going to give you a strategy on how to beat this guy and you do have to fight him four times or five times rather uh, right in the dungeon. Now, what you want to do is move your Yuna or, or whatever, the, the summoner, out of your team. You want to have Oran on and you have... Well, anyone with first strike, you you want that to guarantee that that you you're gonna win or at least survive, anyways. Now we have everything set up here. We're gonna run up, and he shows up here. The thing is, the first time you battle him, he always ambushes you, and your way of surviving that attack is to summon, and that that's exactly what we're doing. All right, we're going to run up to him and start the battle. So first battle, he'll always ambush you. And having first strike will give you the first attack. Now you want to summon one of your uh, Aeons and kind of have him take your, you know, your, your death attack. If he takes a death attack. Alright, so this attack usually kills my entire team. And it, it, it probably killed your entire team. So, uh, you do want your Aeon blocking that for you. Taking that damage for you. Now, once that heat, our Aeon is down, we, we will have the turn. So, which is a good thing. Be sure you have a lot of luck, agility. Max out your strength, agility, uh, luck if possible. Of course, luck is a bit difficult. And we're going to use quick hit. And for Yuna... We're going to use quick hit as well. Alright, so Yuna misses because her stuff isn't maxed out. But uh, as you can see, uh, you'll notice that what's coming up, it says boss, right? On the screen, it, next thing, the next character should show up is Riku and then boss. Now what you want to do here is summon another Aeon. You don't want to take the risk that he'll kill your entire party. That That is just not cool. So you'll attack him, you know, normally, whatever you do, it, it doesn't really matter. The thing is, he is just, you know, the Aeon is just there to take hits for you. If uh, he uses a special attack to kill your party, this is what the Aeon is for. The Aeon will take the hits and die. I know, you know, it feels bad killing the Aeons, but this is like the best way to beat it. Alright, so once that's done, we're, we're going to bring back Oran because Oran is uh, good. Now, you want to use aim. You want to cast a lot of aim. Uh, some people have mentioned 20 aims or even over that to actually be able to hit him. But we have our... Well, well we have our characters up a bit, so uh, we don't miss as often. Unless it's Yuna or Oran. So, in that event, we're, we're going to do about 5 aim. Titus won't miss. Titus is, uh, we we have his luck about at 150, so it's really difficult for him to miss. Let's try and see if Warren misses now. Yeah, he still misses. All right, as you can see, the boss is coming up. You want to summon another Aeon. You don't want to take this hit because if he does his uh, one of his hits, which is which hits all your party. He's guaranteed to do over 9,999 damage. And your party is, is just wiped out. Like this attack. Definitely one hit kill. So you don't want to take the hits. No matter what, do not take the hit. I mean, sometimes you might feel like, yeah, we're overpowering him. And, you know, we should take the hits. But definitely don't waste your time doing that. Now with the character that uh, doesn't miss, you want to attack. If your character is still missing, you want to do some aim. You know, keep on casting aim. 
Now, if you played enough, you'll probably know exactly how many aims you need to cast before your characters don't miss. But for us, uh, we we actually I didn't time it, so I'm not really sure when our characters won't miss. But let's try to attack them now. All right, so <laughs> our character's still missing. Now let, let's try to watch the bar. Now. The boss is coming up and it is Yuna's last turn. We want to do a summon here. Because we, we want the summon to take the damage. So it's vital that you do this. You've, it's vital that you get the Aeons to take the damage. No matter what, you won't be able to save all your Aeons. And have them not die. And have your characters not die at the same time. So you want your Aeons to take the damage. Whatever. And then... Don't un dismiss them. Actually, let them die because that's better. Alrighty, so Shiva's gone. Yeah, you know Shiva is one of my most favorite characters. Seeing her die it is, yeah, it, it just doesn't make me feel good, but it has to be done. So quick hit again. You'll notice that he he'll start bending forward when he is injured to a point where he he's almost about to die. But right now, you don't see anything happening. He, he's standing there, you know, in his powerful form. He looks like, you know, he's unmovable. Now he look right there. He, he started bending forward. So he's about to die. So you, you want to hit him. So Aryuna can hit him now, which is great. Uh, let's, let's try Orin. Orin's still missing. So two hits before, uh, well, two hits after he, he actually made that bending forward motion so we're, we're gonna count how many time how many hits it takes before he uh, dies of course at 9,000 I mean 99,999 what we're gonna do is just cast shield because I want to count every hit so that you know well actually maybe we should use boost then the Bahamas gonna die that that is the main goal it's just that whether he'll cast something that is awesome or not uh, will be dependent on, I guess, the game. He might cast nothing, but I, I'm not sure. I, I don't want to take that risk, and nobody should actually take that risk. Alright, so Bahamas dead. He's gone. And we hit him two times after he started bending forward. Alrighty, so let, let's try Orin again. Alright, so this is the third time. Fourth time. Fifth time. Six. Seven. Alright, so a lot of... He, he's still alive. Alright, so 7th time after he's bending forward at 99,999 and he's still alive. So, he does have quite a bit of health. Alright, we're going to use boost. We're going to take the hit. Alright, yeah, this is the one you can't dodge. So, uh, be sure to have your summon. I mean... Yeah, this is a death sentence. It's like, yeah, I'm gonna kill ya. Alrighty, so we're gonna attack him again. So eight. So after he starts bending forward, you have to hit him eight times at nine ninety-nine thousand nine hundred and ninety-nine to beat your Jimbo, Dark Yo Jimbo. So that is pretty much it. That is how you beat this character, or I, I guess this boss. And you do get dark matter, you also get really good equipment. Now you also have to fight him more, but uh for the fifth time, you have to come back. But if you exit the, I guess, the cave, you can fight him all over again. If you reload from save, you'll have to fight him all over again. 
as well. Anyways, that is about it. That is how you beat him in Final Fantasy X.